Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Modesto, California, Razor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC double champion. From outside the arena to build up to the fight to in the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Right hand lands flush. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike, and he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, single color tie now. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, 
All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, a huge block there. Got the single collar tie. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just missed with the leg kick. Punch over the top. Oh, man, head kick land. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice punch, man. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Spinning back fist. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Counters with the left hook, nicely done there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. I mean, he's cutting it down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> and he caught the kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that's a nice try. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And both guys really thrown with a four. Oh! He was hurt. Sorry, oh! Oh! Okay. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Got to be careful, armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Good stick. Starting to do some really significant damage. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Checks the leg kick. Big oh. knee lands there. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish line because he's got it on the corner hurt very bad. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting himself. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Not there. Oh, back to the overhand right, swing and a miss. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to half length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Try to establish that jab. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is... Oh! He's close. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, he's hanging out inside the close guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. 
Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Hey. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Bruce Buffer, he has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Marshall, eight there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public, tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.